right taurus they won't ignore us baby they sure the hell won't it is mira it is shira it is vera it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of august 2020 show me the money now look here i may be late but i'm always great y'all already know how i do baby so listen we're gonna come in here we're gonna find out what blessed energies is popping off around this time of the year for my lovely Taurus. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen, I want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys who has been booking readings and just sending support through the Cash App, the PayPal, who's been donating decks to the page. You guys have been awesome, awesome, awesome. And I thank each and every one of you. Even just clicking this video, I appreciate the positive energy that you send over. And there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading or send any type of support or love to the page, all of the information on how to connect with me is on the about tab. All right, to book with me, I do my video readings on Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram, um, we can connect on Google Hangouts. The only thing we need to do is exchange emails. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So, um, if you have any questions, the pricing list and everything is on my about tab. Um, if you have any questions, again, if you have Instagram, reach out to me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll help get you all set up with a Google Hangout so we can do your video reading, okay? As you know, and as we always do, my boo, we're going to say a prayer and just give God and cre you know, the creator of whatever you call him, you know, acknowledgement and just thanks for just bringing us here. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Father God, they will not ignore us. Listen, our blessings are here, all right? And we are not in fear. You already know we take charge. So, Father God, in regards to the sign of Taurus, we just want to continue to just be uplifted in faith right now. Um, things are just like magically coming our way and things are coming into fruition and things are getting aligned in our life. We're realizing certain things that we've been dropping the ball on and we need to pick back up and get our momentum back going, you know. So um, we're very hard workers. We like to live a certain lifestyle in order to live in that lifestyle we got to do what we got to do you know we've been enjoying our rest right now but right now it's time to get back on go-go mode so father god give us guidance for the sign of taurus continue to just bless us with happiness and life and love and career and finance and just overall family happiness and abundance give us guidance for the rest of august and i appreciate every single day that you hold our hand and you Take this walk with us in our life, Father God. We never feel alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get into. Let's get into. Let's get into her. Let's get into she. Let's get into we, baby. Okay. So I'm going to face the cards down, you guys. I've been. Y'all let me know. See, I don't like it when people do no pre-shuffle. I really do not, you guys. I'm not even going live. I like to see people shuffle the cards on the camera because I, I sometimes I be feeling like people setting up the cards to say what they want it to say, and that ain't the way I got over here. So, um, but if uh, one of you guys could do me a biggie and you know put the little time stamp down there. So they could just skip past this if people don't feel like seeing this portion here. But yeah, if y'all want me to do preset, I will. Ooh, ooh. This is the five of cups in the reverse. So this is good. You guys are getting over some type of feeling of failure, heartbreak, or just disappointment. So that's good. That's wonderful. Okay. That's wonderful. Let's see what we're going to life purpose. You know, sometimes we go through things in life where we might have made mistakes or people might have made a mistake in our life. That might have caused a lot of sadness and regret. But it looks like you guys are like over whatever it was that kind of had you feeling in a rut. I just had your head down. Something like you guys are letting go and releasing the past and you guys are focused way more on your future and the things that are like being placed right at your footsteps. It's like why the hell would I keep hanging my head down thinking about something I regret. I regret it. You know what I'm saying? Or when I, I, I got so much love around me, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. So 
shout out and big respect to all of you guys who are picking yourselves up who realize that you are worthy of happiness and you ain't got to keep focusing on old shit in the past all right so let's pull out the love cards on the end of this saying that you guys are a little bit more focused on love and your heart right now So, let's get into the source. So, let's flip over the archetype card. Ooh, the kiss. Yes, ma'am, Taurus. Ooh, you got kissing all over your body. Got that water glistening all over your body. Ooh. <laughs> and then you see that crescent moon right there. Who you had kissing all on you? Rubber hands. Rubber never regions. Okay. And it was, wasn't it just like the crescent moon? We did just have like the crescent moon like this. So you guys might have been experiencing some type of intimacy in a way, a touch. You know, Tauruses are very, very, uh, they love touch. They love to it. You can tell if a Taurus really love you, if they're caressing you, if they're planting your hair, rubbing your back, like caressing your arm if they always are touching you or wanting to kiss you and things like that that Taurus love you and whoever this is that has been getting this energy of this kissing and this affection and this it has made Taurus stop focusing on them things that were bringing them down and was making them feel in this rut you know because if you look at this in the upright it's like a maze of energy of just things that went on that constantly played over and over and over and over and over in this person's, you know, environment and in their space and in their place and their heart and their mind and their soul and their spirit. And it was like they could not figure a way out of it. And when you're in the five of cups in the upright, you're so stuck in that lack and that feeling of hopelessness and just love loss and just pain and just like I said, regret. I'm just really getting the word regret that you're not even being focused on what's being offered to you in current time. You so focused and living so deep and so entranced in the past, you're not even being focused on what is offered in front of you. Maybe someone came and lit up your life. Let's find out about this kiss. Let's find out about this person, this situation that has made Taurus turn that frown upside down. What is this? The five of wands in the reverse. So the five of wands in the reverse is like someone backing up from confusion a little bit. Um, in the upright, the five of wands can be a combative situation where it's people fighting against each other, it's people competing, it's people that um, won't let go. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're they not going to give up in this battle. Like, everyone is fighting for the same purpose all at the same time to see whoever is going to be the last person standing. Um, this person, whoever this is that's came into this tourist life, is not... There's no competition around. There's no fight. There's no strife. There's really no disagreements. Like things might be very easy. You guys might be able to actually have a conversation and hear each other out. Like you guys listen to each other. Um, you don't feel like, you know how people say like true love isn't hard or like something that's really meant for you really isn't hard. It's not that confusing. It's not you don't have to go out your way for something that is yours. So, like, that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like, finally something that I don't have to fight for. Finally something that we just connect and it just works. You know what I'm saying? It's not... And these are two fives, aren't these? Oh, so there's major change coming in y'all's life. Like, whatever the hell you guys were going through... There is change. There is more freedom. There is more adaptability. Like you're adapting a little bit better to the things that are coming into your life right now. And again, like I said, you feel more free to like emotionally do and be who you are because there's no conflict. There's no struggle. There's no strife. There's no drama. It's like for once in my life, like I can enjoy these kisses and I can 
think more about the movement and the change that is coming into my life and how I want to be more open to it. I feel like this is someone that is, Taurus is our fixed signs, um, so it's hard to process change. Sometimes they like to know where they're going, how things are going to be. They're like a certain standard of their life and they don't, they don't like gray areas. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this might have been something hard for you to process and let go and stop you know, fighting for, because it was something that you were fighting for with this Bible Cups. Let's see what this Life Purpose card, Love and Light. It's a lot of love and light surrounding you right now. As you can see above this is the kiss. So there's some kisses. There's someone that is bringing a lot of intimacy, a lot of love, a lot of passion. Um, it's like you feel covered in just joy and like, Someone that kind of brings the best out of you, that love and light out of you. You're constantly touching this person. You're constantly wanting love by this person. I feel like you, with those vibes being in the reverse, it's, you feel more comfortable about expressing yourself. Um, because they express themselves to you. I feel like it's just not hard. It's not difficult. And I feel like you really, really like that it's not confusion. It's not drama. It's not, you know... It's something worth fighting for. It's something worth changing for. Fives represents change. It represents movement. And remember I was saying something earlier about, you know, Tauruses, no offense, but y'all could be lazy. Y'all can be lazy. And it's something that, and it's not that y'all are not hard workers. It, yeah, I'm not saying lazy in a sense. It's just certain things that, it's like, uh, do I have to do it right now? But once you start doing it, you do whatever. I mean, you do it good. You understand? Like, that's why people want you to do it all the time. I mean, you be like, why I got to do it? Because you the one to know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, it says your purpose is to bring divine healing and love into this world. So I feel like this person's purpose in your life is to bring these kisses and to bring this divine love and light into your life. And you are meant to bring it into theirs as well. Let's see what we got going on here. We got the sun in the reverse. And then we also have the queen of cups in the reverse. So the sun in the reverse represents, I want to say seriousness. It represents like, I want to say serious growth. It's like someone that, and then you got the queen of cups right here. So this is like. A woman that is not really about playing around and bullshitting, you know, like she has to take care of her children. Um, there could be a thing about there might not be happiness in her life in regards to a situation surrounding children. It's like, I, like children could possibly be in the way of her happiness like this could be someone who wants to go outside but she can't because she has to watch the children or something like that you see what I'm saying and this is the queen of cups so this is a cancer a Pisces Scorpio uh feminine energy um but this could be someone that you might not have met outside in like a playing area or like in a playing field um this is like a homebody like someone that's always in the house or something like that so um and it, it, it's, it's, it's about her taking care of her kids and how important that is to her and I want to say like this woman may not have a sense of joy or happiness or it's like not a I, I feel like the kids are in the way. I feel like the kids are in the way. You see two children right here. So if this woman can have possibly two children. Um, and I just feel like they're the source of her life. And like that's probably why she doesn't get to go out in the sun or something like that. Um, and it might not. It's just like this person. I feel like this person wants to be consumed with joy. If you can look at this woman's face, I kind of see like a sense of like, not worrying, but it's just like, oh, I feel like I'm nothing but a mother. And I just, I, I get that. And even with the five of cups being right here above her, it's this water sign woman. Um, I feel like things in her life is 
changing and finally turning around where it's like not so much of a focus on her kids this is a focus on her and her happiness and it's like I'm like I'm not gonna let my kids take my shine type of thing like that like I have to look at what's coming forward to me in life I can't just sit here and focus on what happened with my kids father and because uh, as you can see she's sitting here alone with her children but as you know the queen of the queen of cups is typically a married woman but the five of cups above her could represent some type of divorce it could represent for her her letting go of some type of challenge and you know struggle and focusing on her kids and trying to find love and light and joy and intimacy this could be even someone that wants another child because this could represent like childbirth like new life or something like that I feel like this woman wants a new life like she could want like one more child but doesn't have the correct connection to like breathe love and life into it for her to have another baby you know what I'm saying or you know I feel like it has to do with the right connection it has to do with the right connection in order for this woman to have joy into her life like it has to fit for her kids um like I feel like she has to come outside like it's like finally looking not looking at the past anymore accepting and being open to kisses and affection from a new source that is bringing you love and life that's not with a whole bunch of conflict and confusion and stuff like that and I want to say finding a way around the kids so that you can finally get some sunlight in your life and you can like really live your purpose and find happiness here um i want to say this is, I, I really feel like this is someone's stuck in a house with kids um let's see what is this here the hermit again like i said this is someone stuck in a house with children and it's like having to do that inner work to find your own way to understand that it's okay to release the past like this is someone that really was doing inner work on their self and they could have been alone um by their self for a long time working on their self trying to get over some hurt or regret or pain from the past and this person was trying to find their self not only in love but just in life in general it's like their soul purpose you know what is this love card here self-indulgent like again like i said this woman has been given to herself She's been practicing self-love. She's been focusing on her kids so much that I want to say that she might have lost wanting to find love. It's like this woman had to do her inner work before she could be anything to anybody else. She had to get over the past. She had to focus on her children. And I feel like now... All she feels like is she has is her self-work and her focus on her children. And now she's finally starting to feel alone. Now she's starting to look up. And she wants something more to life. I feel like she's sad because she's nothing more than a mother. Like, And it's like, I want to get out from up under my kids. Like, I love my kids, but I want new life. You know? I'm tired of being indoors. I'm tired of being in the darkness. It's like, I want to go out on a date. I want to have fun and, you know, conflict-free environment. Focusing on yourself, your self-work, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So, again, like, this is, this is good. I feel like she just wants to come out. She wants to have fun. What is this? Twin Flames. So, again, like, this woman, and y'all know I don't like the term twin flames, but in this deck, I feel like it does give a positive connotation to the term. So, this says yin and yang, um, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So, again, it has to do with the way this person makes you feel, like, when you're with this person. They're constantly kissing you. They're constantly giving you affection. They're giving you that love and light into your soul. It's not 
hard. You don't even focus on your past no more. It's like, and by the blessings of God, you did do that inner work and you are focused on your children like that. The only thing that you feel like you need to give you that balance is the correct union. And because you did your self-indulged inner work, you are finding someone in your life that is bringing you that balance. And you guys really do complement each other. Like, you guys could be each other's opposite. So, and again, this is a Taurus reading. So, um, Taurus's opposite is Scorpio. You see what I'm saying? So, if you're a Taurus man watching this reading and you're dating or met a Scorpio woman, that can be the yin to your yang. That's the sun... I mean, the moon to your sun, the sun to your moon. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, and whoever this woman is in this energy, like, she's most definitely solely focused on her kids, but she's bored and she wants happiness in her life and she wants love in her life. And she really did in work on herself. What is this, the snake in the reverse? This woman does not want to be in a relationship with anyone where there is going to be any conflicts, where there's any side women, there's any other people lurking around. She does not want that. She loves herself too much to even entertain it. Do you understand? That's why this Five of Wands is here. The Five of Wands is in the reverse. I don't want anything where there's competition, there's conflict, there's other... Someone trying to come to me as the... the You know what I'm saying? You know how you begin to mean? I, I, I'm... Coming to you as a woman. Bitch, don't come to me as no woman. Okay? Okay? Like, I don't even want to experience anything. Like, like true love is not hard. Like, you should not have to go through that. And this woman does not want that. She does not want a snake. It says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, constantly looking over your shoulder. The other woman. She does not want this. At all. She wants something that balances her. And she knows, listen, I'm not playing around. Remember when I said this is someone that wants something serious. Remember, the sun represents playfulness, like juvenile innocence. It's like she is like there could have been a loss of innocence in regards to dealing with snakes. You see what I'm saying? Where she don't, she's not green no more. She knows that there are snaky, malicious people that'll try to have their cake and your cake and someone else cake and cake 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 no you're not about to cake off of me you know what i'm saying like i don't have time to play around you know certain things have been revealed to you that you can't unsee anymore and that's why you might just be kept in door with your children's because it's like i don't want to be around snakes i don't want to be around people that come to me in a loving sense but truly are my enemies you see what I'm saying? So, this person needs someone that is giving her that balance. Let's see what this is up here. The Five of Wands again. Look, you got the Five of Wands in the, in the reverse and the Five of Wands in the upright. So, again, this is about this woman does not want to compete. She wants to avoid competition. If it's something that I got to... If I got to play around and... I just, I don't have energy for it. I just don't have energy for it. Like, that does not make me happy. It does not make me happy. Um, I feel like this person has this particular set of skills that is so unlike anybody else that is trying to bring something to this table. Like, legitimately, this is her table. So, it's like, why are these other people here? Like, what the fuck do they even have to say that we can even benefit from? You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... Someone does not want too many hands in one pot. Like, I, just, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Too many opinions that is not going anywhere. This is like we're trying to problem solve here, right? Fives can represent conflicts. We're trying to problem solve here. But we're not doing nothing but creating more conf conflicts because it's too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Goddamn. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody trying to be the boss. Everybody trying to one above each other. I don't have time for it. Y'all go ahead with that. Y'all go ahead with that. I'm not. I, I refuse to compete. I refuse to argue. I refuse to 
lower myself. It does not have to be hard at all. And this woman here, she's over the past. She's focused on her children. When you know your self-worth, you know yourself more than you can ever know anybody else. So when I know myself, I know what I'm willing to put up with and what I'm not willing to put up with. I want a connection. I want something that make me ever forget about anything that I've ever experienced in my past that gave me heartache. I want something that is so easy that even the people that would try to even bring something to the table would be rejected. Because at the end of the day, like, we don't even need you. You know what I'm saying? We don't even need you. What is this here? Karmic relationship. Again, this woman does not want a karmic relationship. Anything that has anything to do with more than one person in the situation, she don't want it. She does not want it. She wants a connection. She wants something that's true. She wants something that is truly going to bring her happiness. She's already seen. Do you understand? She's already seen the drama and how hurtful karmic relationships is. You know what I'm saying? So this is like, I want somebody that is truly best for me. I don't mind being by myself. I don't want it to be just me and my kids and for me to be alone, but... I'm not stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like I'm not stupid. And I'm going to avoid conflict. Because I don't have to compete. I know my worth. I know my worth. She's not naive. She's not a child. She's a grown ass woman. She would not compete. She would not allow anything to take her happiness. And if you're going to be in her life, you got to be mature. You got to come correct. Bottom line. Taurus says you would not ignore us today. Period. Period. And this woman really does. I want to say that she wants another child, but not with the wrong person. She does not. She does not want people sneaking around her putting her in a combative environment for something that belongs to her, you know. So, in regards to this reading, you guys, we about to wrap this up. Um I really do feel like you guys have a connection here, but I want to say you feel like whoever this person is could possibly be the one like this kiss, this connection, this bond. I really do feel like it's something that is pulling you out of your space of you being alone and you know what I'm saying? You're not focused on the past anymore. I think that you're just trying to avoid a karmic dramatic situation. You want to make sure that there's no other women or anything that can take your shine and your happiness because you're not stupid and you You've been in a situation like this before, so you know better to avoid it. So, um, enjoy those safe kisses, you guys. And I want to say allow yourself to love and be free and open to love. And you know, I don't even think that it, the, the person is looking for it. She's not looking for, is this person doing wrong or anything like that. It's just like, she'll feel it. And, and off the rip, if she feels like it's too much, she avoided it like the plague. That's the only thing I'm going to say. She loves herself too much to allow herself to be unhappy in a karmic situation when there's a whole bunch of drama and confusion. So, um, And for whatever reason, the snake being in the reverse, the karmic relationship being in the reverse, I don't feel like this connection is... I don't feel like this connection is a karmic situation. I feel like this woman is being precautious and making sure that she's avoiding drama. I kind of want to get one more card. Oh, let's see. I don't want to know what's the outcome. What's the advice? What's the advice? 
advice with this kisses. You got the King of Cups. So this is someone that is emotionally sound and knows what they want and very serious and romantically courting you. You got the Knight of Pentacles. However, this person could be um, taking an extremely long time. Uh, I feel like this person doesn't really have a plan. I don't know if... You just came into this person's life and they weren't expecting you or something like that. If this person is just smoke, slow to move, period. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. And it's, it may be a thing of this person not having a suitable environment to offer you what they think you deserve so that things can be successful. I feel like there is like a lot of love in this man's heart, but this person lacks success in their life like this person i feel like this person doesn't want to be a failure you like i feel like security is very important to this person and this person doesn't understand why like their heart is in the right place but like why aren't things successfully taking off for me in the way it is um in a financial aspect, like this is a financial thing for this person, but I want to say like this person really didn't have a plan in regards to love. What is this? The five of pentacles. Yeah, because I want to say that this person, this man is definitely offering a cup of emotion of love. Like there's that like this is the, the king of freaking cups like this person is a very loving and I want to say committed person but I want to say on a financial standpoint this person may be struggling um but with this five of pentacles in the reverse they're coming out of a state of lack and it could literally be this queen of cups the king of cups so like this is like twin flame soulmate shit you see what I'm saying so even if the signs right now are not um because clearly this is a Taurus reading, but it's just basically saying like you're offering, you're in a place where you're offering love, but whatever the love that you're offering, it comes with your kids. It has to be someone that is a good father figure, you know what I'm saying? Especially in their personal life, but they will have to be someone that is mature enough that can handle being with a woman with children and with responsibility because her children come first you see what i'm saying so it's like you might date this woman and you might have to take her and her kids out you know what i'm saying because like the only way to get her out of the house is to take her and the kids out because she's always stuck with her kids remember i was saying that before right so this man may not be able to afford to do that. However, because I want to say this person may be financially struggling right now with this Knight of Pentacles. But this woman is this man's soulmate. Like, they complement each other. They are each other's yin and yang. The twin flame, remember? We were talking about that. Um, we were talking about that, but... This man is coming out of a state of lack. He could have been experienced a bout of homelessness or something like that. Uh, loss of job. He could have been going through like some sicknesses or something like with his blood pressure, his health, like might need to like work out and, and, and get his fitness or just like his... Uh, I want to say better... Um, um, food etiquette you know what I'm saying like this person could have been feeding a lot of trash into their body and stuff and like they might not like they might have stomach issues or something like that because they were just eating they weren't eating well you know what I'm saying and I feel like this person realizes like I have to value myself and my temple I have to start taking care of my body so like this person could be on like a wellness plan right now or just like the five of pentacles to me is someone learning something it's like coming out of a place where 
I wasn't doing what I needed to do or I didn't have enough resources or I didn't have the help that I need and now I'm getting the correct help you see the Queen of Cups is right above that right next to her is love and light so again I really do feel like you guys compliment each other and are teaching each other how to come out of the state of lack again you got the five of Pentacles you got the five of cups you got the five of wands and then you got another five of wands so this is four fives so the number four represents foundations you know what I'm saying so I want to say that even if this person is in a state of lack right now and doesn't have a plan like this woman coming into his life could have woke him up and make him start planning made him start working on himself made him start turning his financial situation around where it's like now he is looking for a job now he is looking for a stable environment now he is focusing on his health now he is more worried about his needs internally so because if you're not good on the inside for yourself you can't do anything for anybody else and this woman she has focused on her self-worth so it's like I got to meet her on her playing field because this person feels like that this they are not able on some type of tangible sense. Okay, let's see. The two of swords having to make a decision and then the knight of wands. So again, like here we go. So this is what this is. This is this this man here. This man didn't plan for this to happen. Um, I want to say this woman is bringing a lot of love and life. Like, they really enjoy each other's touches and their kisses. Like, this is some soulmate shit if this man has never been in it before. Um, I want to say that there is... This man has to make a choice because... He knows that this woman isn't playing around. He knows that she's not going to deal with no karmic uh, bullshit. She's not going to frustrate herself and compete because she doesn't have to. And she won't. He has to make a decision. Like almost a blind decision. Like he's moving on faith. Like it's not what shit looks like. It, 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 it's like he don't. He's moving and making decisions off of his internal. His internal mind. In emotion, it's like when I'm around this person, how did they make me feel? How did they make me feel like making a decision based off of what your soul is telling you and not what other people are saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like, you're listening, it's like you're listening, but at the same time. You want to make a blind decision off of faith and how and, and, and what you know and how you feel and not looking at other people's perspective. So this person could be blocking everything out that any it's like they can have someone in their life that is very important to them. And it's like this bandana is blocking their eyes and the ears. So. That could be my father, that could be my mother, that could be my brother, that could be a friend or a colleague, that their opinion or in this situation on this matter means a lot to me. But this time I have to make a choice for myself. So I'm covering my ears, I'm covering my eyes. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear anything that they have to say. I have to make my own choice and decision in this matter. And this person has two options. So it could be very much so that this person does have two people. This person did not plan for this woman to come in. This is someone without a plan. And, it, and they, they really don't even know how to make this thing be successful. But the first thing that they had to do is like come out of a state of lack. It's like something that they had to do for their self. Um, you could have even been sitting back waiting for somebody to give you help. You know what I'm saying? To give you aid or something. And It looks like you might have been looking for financial help and assistance. But you being around the right type of person helped you be more self-indulged. 
where you were able to pick yourself up. I feel it's like really the right type of energy. The Knight of Wands is like someone that has found something new. This is someone that found something new, and it's like looking back at what your life was. I feel like this person feels like my life isn't going to be the same anymore. It's like it's like rushing into something new. You know what I'm saying? Like making a decision. It's like making a decision because it looks like he's leaving something behind and rushing into something new, like very determined about it. It's like this person had to go in internally and make a decision based off of their passions, their faith, like shit, even their lust for life. It's like they might be lusting for change in their life. They don't want, there's too many cards of change. They don't want to carry another woman with them you see what i'm saying so it's like do i keep this or do i leave this and as you can see the snake is in the reverse so it's like not wanting to slither around so it's like i need to make a choice like am i going to continue to leave that am i going to leave that life behind and stop doing that like I, you know what i'm saying it's like i finally found someone that brings a sense of value to me like I don't need, even though I don't have a plan like this 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 woman is making me get off off of my ass just with her energy I know I have to do you know what I'm saying like this girl don't come outside like you know what I'm saying like you know so I have to do for myself and I feel like it's a choice with the man in this situation we see the woman and we see she's not going to deal with what she's going to deal with and what she's not going to deal with. And then she's a very, she's older. She's not immature. She's not naive. So I want to say this person had to make a decision to move away from being sneaky and indulging in karmic shit. You know, I want to say they had to stop listening to people around them. Like this person had to stop listening to people around them because at the end of the day, it's like, it's about happiness. It's about growth. Like for real, for real. It's like, I can't be a child all my life. I can't be playing these childish games forever. It's like, I want to lessen the conflict because I don't want drama in my life. I don't want to compete for this love of this woman. And I don't think that she should have to compete for mine. So it's like, what are we competing for? What is the drama for? It doesn't have to be. And it doesn't have to be. This person is leaving behind. I want to say like a lifestyle. A lifestyle. In search for like love. I want to say true love and a true connection. And this is the night moving forward to be a king. So. You guys, let me get the hell up out of here. I done overdrawn this damn reading. So I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. I hope that this video resonated and gave you any type of positive, you know, affirmations, confirmations. This is what's going on in your life. If it did, y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If you want a book, send me a message on Instagram. And I'll see you later.